Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? It is Leland here with Aegis Brand Studios, and I have a quick unboxing for you today, and this is one that I've been waiting for for a long time. So a game that came out last year, Marvel Crisis Protocol. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with the models. You've probably seen me paint up a couple of them. Uh, really looking forward to this one because this is the, the first big bad of the Marvel Universe coming into uh, into Crisis Protocol, uh, you know, outside of Eltron and whatnot. Um, but we have Thanos. And we are going to take a quick look at the contents of it, quickly get him and his space throne built up to show you. And uh, yeah, just take a quick peek at it. Now, this is not going to be a review of the rules of Thanos. Uh, that is uh, probably going to be a separate uh, bit of content right there for you. We are just taking a look at the, uh, at, uh, the Thanos model and the throne today. So we're going to uh, crack open that box and take a look. Right off the bat, this is a big box. I mean, uh, for for comparison, there's there's the size of most of the other boxes for Marvel Crisis Protocol, and you can see this thing is is just massive in comparison. Uh, now there is a reason for that, uh, and that is because it does come with the terrain piece for his throne. Uh, unfortunately, it also does mean that there is a bit of a uh, price increase that comes with it. This guy uh, came in. You know, uh, not quite, uh, not, at about 50% extra cost as to what you get most of the um, units for. So it is a beefy one. Um, I mean, you do get an option for him with the Infinity Gauntlet and him without. Uh, but it would have been nice to see an option that doesn't come with the throne simply because, I mean, it's... I don't know. It, it's the throne. I, from what I understand, it is something you need to use with the... Uh, with his actual raid but we will take a look at that in just a moment um so let's start off by pulling it open so we got pieces of the throne here and i gotta say so far the the plastics we're seeing with uh with the marvel crisis protocol miniatures are getting much better uh the early ones well by no means bad they uh sometimes there was a lot of like little little weird odds and end pieces uh just stuff that felt like it was just kind of there um but we're seeing the detail here we're seeing better uh better actual segmenting of the pieces itself uh it just feels like the designers are getting a little bit of a better idea or handle on uh on what they're doing with this not to say that they're not talented because obviously some of these uh some of these models are just absolutely fantastic um but they they almost seem to be having a better idea on what they want to do here so the throne itself, yeah, that that's that's beefy. That's a lot of different pieces here. We've got the base of the throne comes with uh, two bases for Thanos itself as well. Um, so that's beefy. And then Thanos himself, you know, we have him in, in this bits right here. And um, you know, my first impression is that he is a little bit smaller than I would have anticipated. Um, put some of these bits up, uh, comparing him to like the Hulk and Venom, and uh, he definitely feels more Venom sized than Hulk sized. Now, I don't know if that's just uh, the MCU movies kind of uh, coloring my perception of how big everyone should be. But with Thanos being a larger-than-life character, I did expect him to be a little bit bigger. Um, so that's a little disappointing there. I uh, was hoping he, he would be a bit larger um, uh, there. Um, so, yep, yeah, we got the, the Thanos tokens here. For his uh, for his ultimate raid, and that's one of the reasons I was really excited about uh, about the Thanos release was the fact that he does have that cool raid feature, uh, which I definitely have to learn more about. Um, a whole bunch of cards to come with him as well. Oh, look at that! He's got some Infinity Gems. Yeah, that's always fun, right there. Uh, so he's got some Infinity Gems. He's got some uh, cool powers there. We got uh, you know the building. Actually, no. This is this appears to be his raid uh, raid rules right here. Yeah, the ultimate encounter uh, rules. Um, so this is really cool. I'm going to be using this to actually try and get a bunch of people into the game itself. Yeah, there's his build instructions right there. Um, yeah, just some uh, some more things to go with it. His uh, his card itself, and then he's got a lot of uh, even his non raid version. He's got a lot of powers. Like there's the the two different versions right there. So he's got a lot going on with this, and unfortunately, I'm not as well versed with the rules, which is why I'm not doing a full review of the Thanos raid, uh, because I am not quite qualified to talk about it. Uh, so today, we are just talking about the awesome fact that Thanos is a model uh, that's coming in here. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly get him assembled, and we're going to uh, take a look at him. So uh, yeah, through the magic of editing, I will be right back with you. And as was inevitable... Thanos is completed, and I gotta say, after assembling him, 
This thing was amazingly simple to put together. Uh, I think all in all, it took me maybe 20, 25 minutes to assemble both Thanos and the throne. Um, yeah, like just an incredibly easy build. The pieces were just really laid down. Everything fit together quite nicely. Uh, honestly, the guys at Atomic Mass Games have come a long way since the starter box where, you know, there was uh, some gaps here and there. Like you can still see some gaps in the model here. But honestly, nothing was difficult. I feel that uh, any gaps that are there are very easily filled. Uh, and, you know, even if they, they're there, they were, they were due to me, probably. Uh, but yeah, just it's so mind-blowingly easy. So we got Thanos right off the bat there. And uh, I made a, um, the nice smiling Thanos because, you know, Infinity Gauntlet and all. Uh, why wouldn't he be smiling? And uh, yeah, like, even though, even though he's smaller than I anticipated, he still is a very imposing figure. Uh, all things considered and uh, I'm looking forward to getting this guy painted up he actually looks like he's going to be a lot of fun to paint up the throne itself uh it's a nice piece of terrain nice nice uh, additional thing lots of jagged little rock things here uh I mean as far as as far as I my feelings on the throne uh I probably could have easily gone without it just for Thanos himself if it meant it was a little bit cheaper but you know what? That is a very cool piece. Uh, obviously, it goes along with the cosmic terrain that uh, you can get from uh, Atomic Mass Games as well. Uh, but yeah, just incredibly easy kit to put together. And uh, you know, I'm just I'm just really excited about getting Thanos painted up and learning the raid and and getting a couple people actually playing with me. So anyway, if this is the type of content you want to see more, if you want to see more Marvel Crisis Protocol on this channel on my social media, let me know. I I'm really loving the models. I want to get the game played myself. Uh, so yeah, let, let me know if this is something you want to see more of. Uh, and, uh, you know, just in general, if you like the comment, it's a huge help if you can hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, always looking to try and, and do more stuff like this. And your support obviously goes a long way for that one. So for anyone who has liked and subscribed, thank you so much. Anyone for watching, thank you so much. Uh, hope to see you guys again. And as always, happy wargaming.